Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 87 to 88. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me, I do have all my reads for the month of October 2023 all up at once. Uh, gain early access, get um, no censorship, no cat logo blurs. If that's something up your alley, definitely check it out on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> Lady Neira, Elena Darcy. Purple Hyacinth, episode 87. Good evening. It's been a long time, William. And nice to finally meet you, Miss Sinclair. You look just as lovely as they described you. Thank you. Glad you arrived safely. You are as ravishing as always, Lady Darcy. Please let me take care take care of your coat. And you're still as gentlemanly as ever, William. <laughs> you know, I was relieved to hear from my father of your serious interest in other meetings. My serious int ah, yes. I was excited to learn you've been invited to the Sinclair's party. I would love to keep you company tonight. Me too. I really enjoyed these festive gatherings. And I would love to pick up the conversation we left off last time. What's going on? By the way, your place looks splendid, Miss Sinclair. Would you mind showing us around? Oh, it'd be my pleasure. i love to go horseback riding with you someday, William. That'd be lovely, yes. I've heard you are an outstanding rider, Lady Darcy. There are beautiful tracks on the outskirts of the city that I'd like to show you. That's very thoughtful of you. My father was right when he said you'd be perfect for me. Your father flatters me. I'd love to see your parents soon. I also can't wait for my grandmother to finally meet you. How exciting. Okay, that's enough. I have to do something about this. Oh. Whoa. Huh? Why are you looking at me like this? Was I not supposed to catch it? You were not supposed to catch it. Drop it and follow my lead. Oh, I... Don't think I feel so good. Oh my god, Miss Sinclair, you look so pale. Poor darling, let me take care of those glasses. Lauren, are you okay? William, you should take your friend upstairs to rest. I'll be fine on my own. God, we're leaving here. Okay. Don't worry about the glass. I'll ask a maid to take care of it. All right, I'll be back. Terribly sorry about this. No problem, I understand. I will join the other guests in the living room. I don't know how you noticed, but thank you. <laughs> no problem. Ah, the number of times we ended up on this balcony, running away from other guests. I admit, I'm tempted to escape through a window like Kim would do. Where is Kim? As hungover as I am, I hope. <laughs> I invited her and her family this year too, but she declined and I understand her. She said she wouldn't feel at her place in our bougie parties. Could I agree more? No offense, but I'd also rather be miles away from here tonight. However, I'm sure she would make this night unforgettable for everyone here. Only an ambulant cast catastrophe like her would save us from the dullness of this night. Are my ears deceiving me or is our lieutenant starting to like his sergeant? In what world do I look like I'm even tolerating this lunatic toddler? I already have a fair headache babysitting her and she thinks now that she can look after me? Why is nobody even listening to me? It's exactly what I said. So, she looked after you, huh? Uh, 
All right, then. Keep your secrets. <laughs> what about the girl, that girl your father sent you to enter, entertain? Naira Elena Darcy, right? Well, you know, apparently I am of marrying age and she's from a noble family. What more can I say? I... I have nothing against her. She's lovely, but... You... Nothing. Okay, well, but who really makes you feel like... Lauren? I need to tell you something. Lately, I've been a little out of it. I... I thought you should know. I saw Raphael. Huh? What? Where? I saw him at the circus a few days ago. Uh, the pianist. If he's part of the Pantheon, it means that he's been there for a while. Hard to believe, isn't it? Ten years later. Not even once did he reach out. He'd probably been back in Ardella study for years, for all I know. Not a single call, not a single letter. Raphael had a tattoo on one of his wrists, just like the messenger. How did you react? I lost it. When I saw him, I couldn't believe it, you know? All these years since that ax, wait, ATST? I've hated him for leaving so abruptly for leaving me behind. But I've also missed him. He never told me why he left. I'm sorry, William. I don't even know where the train I am about to take will take me. I wish I could take you with me, but it's impossible. Wish you will one day find it in your heart to forgive me. I've understood him because growing up, I realized what he had fled. But I could never forgive him. And knowing he's been out there, living his best life while mother... All these years, I didn't even know if he was still alive. But that didn't stop me from thinking about all the things I wished I could tell him. He used to be my hero when I was a kid. And from one day to the next, I had to start acting like that he never existed. I've never seen my father angrier and my mother so brokenhearted. Hey, anyone in your position could have collapsed so long ago. If I ever bump into him, I'll beat him up. Please don't do that. <laughs> well, look at me. I'm proud of you, you know? You were a little rascal when we were playing together. <laughs> but even back then, your father didn't want you to become too close with people who weren't as high perched in social hierarchy as him. And the son of a gardener, even less, he made sure to rarefy the visits. But look at yourself now. You've grown into a strong, resilient, ma brilliant man. You've stood up for your mother, admirably. And no matter what happened, your kind heart never changed. And that's incredible, you know? And this can't keep going on indefinitely, Will. You have to stop living for somebody else, you hear me? You're right. We should head back inside before they think we actually ran away. It's not too late for that, you know? <laughs> Three, two, one. Happy New Year! <sighs> Maybe a glass of water will miraculously make me fall asleep. <sighs> Ah, oh, I thought everyone left. What are they doing up at this hour? 
They are all so stubborn and their egos so inflated that they simply refuse to accept reality. No matter what I do, no matter how many chances they are given, they barely concede to anything and side with the queen almost inevitably. Philip may wear the crown, but the reins are in Elizabeth's hand. Am I right? And I right hand for anything at all? You have spent all your time as right hand advocating for the betterment of this country. Trying to open their eyes, even you can't fight alone against an entire cabinet of ministers. But now it's coming, just like ten years ago. The storm is stirring. Only this time, the Phantom Scythe has had an entire decade to grow in power. It's no longer just a handful of people ready to blow up a train station and tie up a dead man to be heard. It's ready for so much worse. Ever since the Aviat Avastors ordered the assassination of those poor people, they're signed, they signed their own demise. Purple Hyacinth, episode 88. It's ready for so much worse. Ever since the Avestors ordered the assassination of those poor people, they signed their own demise. I had told them, I told King Edward his policies needed to change. The discontentment was ever growing, but of course he never supported criticism very well. Philip is not that far from him, even if he, even if freedom of expression was slightly improved on the surface. There had been other minor protest groups before that eventually vanished. But the Snapdragon were the first to know so much about what the Rolls had done. I remember their pamphlets falling down from the skies, their throwers never to be seen. They only made five editions of those pamphlets in the, in the two years they were around. But every single line in all of them was nothing but absolute truth. Taxes after taxes, cuts, false promises. Protests were inevitable, but they were all shut down. Anything close to what the Snapdragon published was illegal and tracked down by the secret services. Journalists, radio presenters, politicians, Lay people lost their jobs for much less, were interrogated, some had to serve time in jail, and some disappeared. Edward was intransigent and cruel. You have no idea how far his crimes go. The members of the Snapdragon knew it better than anyone else. Anything connected to the Snapdragon was eradicated. The techs, the headquarters, their members. Assassinated. Even when I became chief after Hawk's promotion, I barely had any information on this. It's probably one of the best kept secrets of the city. Only the highest ministers, the secret services, and Hawks knew about this at the time. I... I was there all along. I couldn't do anything to stop them. And I couldn't say anything after the deed was done. Hey, February 25th of 16, exterminated in total secret. You're a good man, Dak. I know you can't always believe it, so let me. Someone betrayed the Snapdragon, Tristan. The group managed to keep a complete Anonymity, and all their headquarters hidden for almost two years. This is why the leader has always been so unforgiving of the people who want to abandon the PS. Do the Secret Service know anything about the leader's next move? Not for now. No one knows. <gasps> oh. Hey, look at me. We're going to be okay. All of this entire time because of the royals. The Snapdragons were dismissed as an anarchist 
pack of lies by all the official newspapers. We were only a handful of members back then, closer to the Apostles. Apparently, the leader was one of the Snapdragon survivors. Did they know, too, about my parents? And the very few others became his first Apostles. They pushed the man before the leader over the edge. Is that why my parents followed him? Driven by the same anger? How did they even escape the massacre? And all the ministers knew. Even Will's father. The boom, the boom. But it was forever hidden. The boom, the boom. One down, two more to go. Why are their lights turned on? N Naira? Fancy a cup of tea? Bella? What is going on? Well, it's about to get extremely spicy soon, for sure. So, alright guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!